Jupiter Venus sign. If it resonates, please, please, please like, share, subscribe, and leave your comments, you guys. All right. Also, click the link below, and all my information is there. Jennifer Weaver 304 at gmail.com. If you guys need a personal reading, you can reach out. The November special is still running. Will they return for $40? Normally $75. That will end soon. Also, I'm over on Water and Fire Tarot on Instagram. Instagram? Hmm. Well, I am on Instagram, but Instant Go Water and Fire Tarot. You can find me over there. All right, Gemini, let's see what's going on. Universe Spirit, show me Gemini in love. What's coming in for Gemini? These cards were pre shuffled very well, but I'm going to do a couple more here. Spirit, we want to see what's coming in for the zodiac sign of Gemini. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Gemini. Cards are flying out. The Nine of Wands. Some of you guys are waiting around for somebody. Could be a fire sign. All right. What's coming in for Gemini? November 15th through November 30th, 2018. Love messages. Give me a 10-card Celtic spread, please. Also, I'm going to use the Gilded Tarot to clarify your reading. All right. Let's take a look and see what we have. We're going to cut it and do it, Gemini, and see what the hell is going on for you guys. Bottom of the deck, we have the Ten of Cups. This is the family card for me, Scorpio Cancer Pisces Energy. It's completion. Happy family, happy dog, happy life, right? Some of you guys are married and a long-term commitment. We have this Ten. If not, the Ten of Cups is just that emotional happiness, right? Fulfillment there on an emotional level. Something might be making some of you guys happy. All right, let's lay out the spread here and see what we have going on. Laying it and doing it. Sorry if there's a little bit of a glare, you guys, but you just have to work with me here, please. I'm going to actually move this over a little bit. Move these up. Hopefully you guys can see that a little bit better. I'm working on getting a different layout, but for now, it just has to be this way. It does. All right, let's see what's coming in. these over, you guys, and move this out of the way. All right, you guys, let's take a little look. Let me take a little look, and then we're going to have a big, fat chat about it. All right, we are. All right. All right, Gemini, coming in right now, we have judgment. So major arcana, right? Judgment. Some of you guys are in decision mode, right? Making a decision might be wanting to give something a second chance or resurrect something, but we'll see. We'll clarify. Mm, I think this is more about making a decision, coming to terms with something. Of course, uh, judgment could all be about, be about healing the past, to having an aha moment, rising from the ashes, clarity. You know, it's decision time here. And with judgment, it's final. Like, it's major arcana. It's a big life decision here. All right. And what's influencing this, Gemini, is the Queen of Cups. Could be a Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, right, that you're making some type of major decision on here. And what's on your mind makes sense. Death, major arcana for Scorpio, right, and ending. You guys have some type of ending or some type of transformation on your mind. With death comes huge, huge life changes, right? Just like judgment, kind of similar in a way here, okay? You guys, some of you are making a decision to end something. Could be with a water sign, more specifically Scorpio. For others of you, you're resurrecting something here because there's emotion with the Queen of Cups, very in her emotions, in his or her emotions, using your intuition to make this decision and going through some type of transformation within a relationship. Maybe you want to offer this a second chance. It's almost like I'm reading for two sets here. Take it how it resonates. All right. The reason everything is happening is the King of Wands, Leo Sag Aries. Some of you may have fire in your chart or dealing with the fire sign. They're in the in the foundation here. Okay. So this is all about taking action. If it's not a fire sign, it's just the energy of somebody who is very competent, secure, attractive, charismatic, sometimes an entrepreneur. But the King of Wands will always go for what they want. 
right? It's like, I want it, I'm going to speak it, I'm going to do it, and I'm going to act upon it. That's why everything else is happening, right? Some of you are making a choice or a decision about a king of wands, right? Because there is love and you're using your intuition here. Others of you may be ending and taking action and moving forward with death here, going through some type of ending. Because in the recent past, Gemini, you do have the nine of swords, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, this is your energy, up late at night, anxiety, worry, fear, thinking about something over and over again, maybe even having nightmares about it, you know? Um, and I think it has something to do for the majority of you, some huge decision, either to resurrect or to end something. Coming in, you guys are going to be moving on, again, to sets of Gemini here, because with the Six of Swords, more of your energy, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, this could literally be moving or traveling, but for others of you, mentally, you're coming to some type of resolution. You're moving on to calmer waters, either with this person or without this person. Again, it'll be different for all of you. I'm getting the energy of an ending and moving on. And I'm also getting the energy of resurrecting, giving something a second chance, trans going through some type of transition, transformation within a relationship here and getting onto calmer waters. Because with the Six of Swords, that doesn't always have to mean you're moving on from somebody. It can mean that you have a resolution, that you're able to get to a peaceful place in your relationship. Right now, Gemini, you see yourself as the Two of Swords, more of your energy, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, indecisive, right? You're trying to use your intuition, but you have the blindfold on. You might be blocking out your intuition. This could be a stalemate. This could be blocking someone out, not able to make a decision, right? Having that blindfold on, blocking somebody or something out. Could be this King of Wands for some of you guys. This is in the foundation, or just indecisive about how to move forward. But you will. You will move forward coming in. Okay? Either again with this person or without them. Depending on the Gemini that you are. External influences. So in your environment, wh whomever you're thinking about, we have the Six of Pentacles. So this is equal give and take. It's, you know, being generous with your time, your money. It's balance, right? Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus, energy. Somebody may want to give to you or they're giving to somebody else, right? They're having balance. They're finding balance in their life. We'll clarify. Hopes or fears is the Page of Pentacles. Some of you are waiting on an offer. Could be from Earth, Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus, or just in general. Some type of message. Really wanting to invest because the page of pentacles is all about an investment it's potential it's communication it could be a gift or a literal proposal from somebody here okay most likely outcome gemini is we have the seven of cups some of you are going to have some options here scorpio cancer pisces or also too with the seven of cups that is kind of that confusion right it's being a little bit confused having some illusion about something that's going on in your love life or again, you or somebody else having options. So we'll see. We'll clarify and see what makes the most sense here. All right, dropping cards already, Gemini. Let's see. Yeah, the Queen of Wands just fell out. So now we have a King and a Queen of Wands here in the reading, okay? Some of you are de definitely dealing with a fire sign, Leo Sag Aries. It's all about taking action, moving forward, being confident, and going for what you want. All right, Universe Spirit, give me clarity here. Let's look at Gemini, please. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. What's going on with Gemini in love? November 15th is through November 30th. What do we want to let Gemini know? It's coming in love. Love messages, please, for the zodiac sign of Gemini. These were pre-shuffled, but we're doing a few more here. All right, let's take a look here, Gemini, and see what is coming in for you guys. November 15th through the 30th, 2018. Again, kind of what I'm getting from this reading is some of you guys want to resurrect something and offer a second chance, have some type of complete transformation and change, getting rid of the old so that the new can begin within your relationship. Some of you, it will be a fire sign, Leo Sag Aries. Um, some of you could be a water sign too, Scorpio Cancer Pisces here with this Queen of Cups. If not, then this is just really honing in on your intuition because the Queen of Cups is offering her love. She's a little bit skeptical. I mean, in this deck, the cups actually close. So she's in her emotions, highly, highly emotional and sensitive, you know, but a little bit reserved on offering the cup of love, okay? It's all due to this King of Wands, Leo Sag Aries. You know, it's either a fire sign or somebody with a lot of, they could have fire in their chart or just a lot of like passion, wanting to move forward. Very confident here is the energy of the King of Wands.
because the recent past, you guys are the nine of swords. You guys were up late at night, worried, fearful, having a lot of anxiety about something. But it's all going to be relieved because coming in, we have the six of swords moving on, right? Either within your relationship and getting to those calmer waters, literally maybe moving, or just moving to a more peaceful place out of whatever's going on here with death on your mind could be an ending for some of you maybe a Scorpio. Right now, you're really kind of indecisive, though, Gemini, with the Two of Swords, needing to take off the blindfold and make a decision. You also might be blocking other things out with that Two of Swords, okay? External to you is the Six of Pentacles. Somebody's getting balanced back in their life, right? They may want to still give to the situation. They want it to be equal, right? No more one-sided relationships here. Most likely the outcome, we have the Seven of Cups. Could be some confusion, some illusions, or it'll just end up that somebody has some options here with that Seven of Cups in love. All right, let's start here. The Ten of Cups is your overall energy. Why is this Ten of Cups here for Gemini? Why is the Ten of Cups here? Why is this Ten of Cups here the overall energy for Gemini? And we have the Six of Wands. Yeah, a lot of you guys are getting recognition. Maybe you're getting out there, dating again, happy with the Ten of Cups, getting some attention. You might be in the public eye in some way here. But with the Six of Wands, that's victory. That's the ultimate victory and success card. I think a lot of you guys are getting your happiness back. With that Ten of Cups, it might be, you know, really affecting the home. You know, again, some of you guys have kids and a family with this person. All right, coming in, we have judgment, though. So a decision, some type of aha moment. Some of you will want to resurrect a situation here. Others of you are making a decision. What's the judgment? Why is judgment here coming in right now for Gemini? Why is judgment here, please? The Seven of Pentacles. Yeah, a lot of you guys are making the decision to keep investing, right? Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus. This is normally somebody you're dealing with from a past situation. You've already put in time, right? With the Seven of Pentacles, you've nurtured it. You've taken care of it. You've loved it, watered it, and you're still invested, okay? So a lot of you guys, this is about um, a resurrection, a second chance of a relationship. The challenge or what's influencing this is this Queen of Cups. Why is this Queen of Cups here, please? Again, Gemini, if it's not you, it's the other person, but somebody coming into the current moment here wants to resurrect something, has made the decision to keep investing in a situation. Why is the Queen of Cups here? Who or what is this Queen of Cups? Why is this Queen of Cups here, please, for Gemini? And the Page of Cups, more Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, energy, love, fun, flirty communication, right? I think that that's what's influencing this a lot. For a lot of you guys, this is a water sign that you want to continue to invest in. All right, you're feeling the love, you're in your emotions, wanting to commit. Death is on your mind, Gemini. Why is death on Gemini's mind? Why is death here? Sign of Scorpio. Why is death here, please? This is all about a transformation. King of Swords, this is you guys, Gemini. You guys have clearly decided on something here. The King of Swords is very communicative, very good with communication, truthful, when the in, in the upright kind of draws a line in the sand about what they want. For a lot of you too, though, with that King of Swords, sometimes the King of Swords will sever ties and on top of death there, for a lot of you, you're thinking about an ending, but somebody else here wants to invest, okay? Again, I don't care who it is. If you guys are like, oh no, I'm ending it, fine, you're ending it. And that's kind of the energy that's on your mind. But somebody else here in the situation is still investing and wants a second chance, okay? It could be this Queen of Cups, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces energy, okay? But with the King of Swords on your mind, you're just cutting to the shit, cutting through the shit, right? Being a little bit icy, maybe a little bit detached. Uh, recent past, Gemini, you guys have this Nine of Swords. Why is the Nine of Swords in the recent past for Gemini? What's the Nine of Swords? The Nine of Cups. You guys were trying to get your happiness back. Really kind of honing in and thinking, but having a lot of fear, a lot of anxiety, a lot of worry about wish fulfillment, where your wish is going to come in. How do you get to that Nine of Cups, right? And a lot of you guys have made a decision to cut it out. It's all happening due to this King of Wands, Leo Sag Aries. Why is this King of Wands in the foundation for Gemini? Who or what is the King of Wands? Remember, some of you guys get a fire in your chart too. Why is this King of Wands here? And the Page of Wands, more fire, Leo Sag Aries, communication, right? Some of you guys, this is all about communication with a fire sign. It's a fire sign that you're dealing with or just some type of forward movement that does involve some type of messages that you're waiting to receive or to send out, okay? And it has something to do with a second chance. 
I don't necessarily think it's you guys, because you have death and the king of swords on your mind. That's severance. That's cutting ties. All right. Coming in, the six of swords, you're going to experience moving on, right? Why is the six of swords? This is your energy. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. That's why I think for a lot of you, too, this isn't necessarily you, you wanting a second chance. Why is the six of swords coming in here? Why is the six of swords coming in for Gemini? What is the six of swords? And here's death again. <laughs> ah, major kind of for Scorpio with death showing up twice. You guys are ending something. You're moving on and ending it, regardless of what this person wants, right? <laughs> for some of you, this person will be communicating, you know, oh, I still have the passion. I want it to work. Let's invest. I'm still, I'm still willing to work on it, invest in it. I love you. You light my fire. And Gemini says, I'm six of swords. I am moving the hell on. Right now, you're the two of swords. You, this might be you guys blocking somebody out. Why is the two of swords here as Gemini? Why does Gemini see themselves as the two of swords? And yeah, the five of pentacles. You guys are leaving somebody out in the cold. Five of pentacles, shutting somebody out. Earth energy, Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus. I think it's you guys shutting somebody out here because you guys just were not happy. I see here in the recent past, having a lot of fear and anxiety. Outside influences is the Six of Pentacles. Now I see this as this person probably wanting to come in and balance out the situation. Why is the Six of Pentacles external to Gemini? What or who is the Six of Pentacles? What's the Six of Pentacles here? And the Three of Wands, yeah, trying to manifest. Three of Wands is launching new ideas. Right? It's it's manifestation, ex exploration, it's waiting for your ships to come in. So this person wants to their ships to come in with you, Gemini. They do. They're ready to balance out the situation and to launch new ideas with you. Alright, most likely outcome though is the seven of cups. Why is the seven of cups the most likely outcome for Gemini? Why is the seven of cups here and the outcome for Gemini? What do we need to know here? What's the seven of cups? What's the seven of cups? And the five of swords. This could be severance too, right? The seven of cups can be somebody has options, right? It could be confusion as well. But with the five of swords, this is that like manipulative energy. It's like mind games, right? So be careful who's coming in to communicate with you. Could be this person that y'all are dealing with that y'all are moving away from. You know, there could be some kind of nasty communication with that five of swords. It can be somebody just walking their own path as well, right? For a lot of you guys, that will be you having options in love again with the five of swords taking back your power five of swords doesn't always have to be you know the the negative bad energy it can be you standing in your power especially on top of that seven of swords i really look at it now because remember your overall energy is victory success recognition getting your happiness back with that ten of cups that's you guys and the most likely outcome says, yeah, you guys will have some options in the dating world again out there. Um, taking your power back. Why is this five of swords in the outcome for Gemini? That is y'all's energy. Why is the five of swords in the outcome for Gemini? What's this five of swords? And judgment. Yeah, again, rising from the ashes, healing the past, having clarity, having that aha moment, right? Judgment day, making big decisions. What is it? To move on, end something, have a resolution here, have more options in your love life, take back your power and make the decision, heal the past, have the aha moment. It's beautiful, brilliant energy. Let's give it one more clarification now. Why is judgment here, please? Why is the outcome judgment for Gemini? What, what is judgment here? Why is judgment here for Gemini, please? Why is judgment here? Ace of Swords, clarity, it's a breakthrough, it's victory, you know, it's, it's also severing ties, it's clear, present communication, it's clarity, but it doesn't always have to be communication, again, this is your energy, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, you guys are making the final decision, you're having clarity, you're having that aha moment about breaking free from whatever this turmoil is in the past that was giving y'all a lot of anxiety, no, let's not get it twisted, Whoever you're dealing with, they're probably going to come back in and still want to invest and work on it. But the outcome shows that you'll just be severing ties. You're going to have clarity on this, this final decision that you've made. You guys are leaving somebody out in the cold right now anyway. So that's what I have for you, Gemini. It's actually a beautiful reading. You guys are letting go of some anxiety, moving on in a new direction. For a lot of you, again, it could be from a fire sign, Leo Sag Aries. 
what's on your mind is you're just not taking any BS. Death and the King of Swords is all about an ending, severing ties, cutting through the shit, and really, to be honest, kind of emotionally detaching yourself um, from whatever energy you guys have been dealing with. And again, I do see you guys having some more options and love. So <laughs>